Hello guys, uh, welcome to another update on the Pro Mill. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's been a little while since I've done uh, an update on this video and uh, it's, you know, a little bit of procrastination and, uh, well, it's been kind of a crazy year, really. So, yeah, but I have done a little bit of work on it and I wanted to give you guys an update and we are actually close to finally being done and I'm looking forward to sharing a first cuts video with you guys. So please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, that video will be coming up soon, soon. Uh, no, seriously, soon, because this is taking uh, longer than it should and not because it's difficult, just because of life. Anyways, let me show you what I've done. Awesome. All right, so here's 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 the deal. Uh, what have we done that is new? Uh, well, we have all of our servos. All of our servos are now mounted, although they are not fully hooked up. Um. We had to put in new encoders on them and I 3D printed these nice little two-tone uh, brackets, enclosures for the wires because they connect uh, in here to the encoders. So those are now on all three of them. We have our, our, our Z axis right there and hidden in here is our, our uh, our boy, our um, our Y axis. Yep, that's it, the Y axis. And down here is our X axis. And I actually have to take this one out and remount it. That sucks. Sturdy, nice sturdy printing. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have to take this one out because the belt is. I can be able to get that belt on there. Um, our control has been pretty much up. Wow, 50 degrees. Cold. Uh, has been. Our control is uh, pretty much all done. So we originally purchased this enclosure and it gave you a choice of buying their computer or not using your own. So I, of course, being a uh, computer guy, chose mine. However, the wire bundle that you they send right here uh, is not correct. It, it assumes that you're putting your computer down in the enclosure, uh, not up in here. So that was weird. It did not come with the power supply. Thankfully, the mounting holes, they're just two little screws on the back, are uh, there. I got the same one that's listed in the schematic. Uh, I did some custom wiring. I cut my power supply for the nook, cut the wires so it's just sharing the uh, 120 volt that connects to the mean well here. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this, but this actually comes with a little ethernet port on the bottom. So I, I bought a USB to ethernet for the inside, so I have that. And that's good to go. I just gotta test my voltage, make sure that's good, and then screw that back on there. Uh, I also got a little knockoff man machine keyboard with a little touchpad. See how it does. I got a a wired pendant that I have to do the wiring on, and I'm not particularly looking forward to that, but. Get her done. Um, let's see what else. Let's go back here. I put up a made in China flag, even though I didn't think that was allowed. So, go America. The lighting is not excellent in here, so I apologize. I apologize in advance. Phone power. Uh, so this is pretty much all, all good in here. 
Um, I have my main fuse, main fuse block with switch that comes over to my transformer. Uh, and then my transformer comes down to the block here and uh, is distributed throughout. Uh, this is the other power supply that powers the main little computer components on the all-in-one. And uh, here is my VFD, that is a Yaskawa. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, here's our contactors. Uh, in the schematic, it listed a 24 volt uh, AC, I think that is, transformer. So I don't actually know if I need that. Uh, and we just got to do some miscellaneous wiring. Pretty much it's all uh, plug, and, plug and play here with our uh, all-in-one. So that shouldn't be too bad. Here is our, uh, this side is where our servos will attach. And yeah, we are getting close. Uh, you know, just just a little uh, critique here, if I were to give one. Uh, Centroid doesn't offer an option for you know shorter cables. So I mean, I mean, sorry, I'm a little messy over here. But I have l literally like six or seven extra feet of wire I have to bundle up and put somewhere, and I really don't have the space for it. So. So that's that's good. That's I mean extra is good I guess, but yeah, a little too much, a little too much extra. So so we just gotta we gotta finish wiring up this bad boy. Uh, not 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 nothing too particularly crazy, but we just gotta get after it and uh, get it done. Um, I'm really looking forward to cutting this. We have two vices already ready to go. Some a uh, Japanese brand. They are not Kurtz, but they are nice. And uh, we gotta put together our oiling system. That still needs to be done. And uh, our uh, our main our main uh, electrical. Our, our main motor is all wired up and ready to go for single phase. Our air truck works great, so that's nice. And just gotta, so we really just gotta bust some ass and get her done, you know? But thank you for watching this video. Uh, new update, like I said, is coming very soon. I am 100% dedicating just my whole day to getting this done over the next couple of weeks, next couple days, I should say, and just getting this done. Uh, and I, I can't wait to make some new parts. So please like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next update. <sighs> Hello, welcome. All right, YouTube, uh, I know it's been a little while since we've had another. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube.